Okay. Um, and here we go. Um, setting strict budgets for birthdays and <gasps> holidays. Oh, we just had a budget. We just had a birthday in the house and we set a budget and we went over it. Yeah. And it was like, you add to it. Yeah. Um, it's almost like you do it without thinking. And I think it's a lot of that, like, but I, it's, it's their birthday and I want it birthday. to be special. I want to make them feel special. Exactly. Yeah. And there are other ways to make them feel special. So, yeah. um, we went overboard a little bit on the gifts, but for us, it was also, um, the food to serve people. Cause we had, yeah. a, we had like, uh, like eight people, we had our parents, our parents over and siblings. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, I need to be better. I'm really good about setting a budget for Christmas. Birthdays get away from me. Well, see, here's like, I understand that for me, birthdays are like sacred times. And mm -hmm. so every birthday, the kids get to choose, they get to go out to, uh, for one meal okay. for whatever it is for their, for their birthday. Mm -hmm. And we set aside a budget. It's a hundred dollars for their birthday. Yeah. And we get them something special for them. And then the rest of that money usually goes towards going out for them to celebrate, especially if it's anywhere where kids eat free yeah. and they do something to embarrass the kid on their birthday. For whatever reason, my kids love to go to Red Robin and Outback for their birthday. Hey, that works. So it's like, it still stays under budget for the whole family mm -hmm. because they can still get stuff. There are still coupons yeah. still, and then they come out and they get to have somebody sing to them on their birthday and they get a special little treat. Yeah. And that's what we do is we try to do something where it's an experience mm -hmm. rather than gifts. Mm -hmm. Cause, um, growing up before my parents got divorced and then went bankrupt, we were super wealthy. Oh, like I know it's, it's like a big deal. <laughs> they went from like $500,000 a year in income to nothing. Mm -hmm. And that was the wave that we rode. And so we grew up, whatever we wanted, we got my brother and I, mm -hmm. and we saw that that wasn't important. Yep. We saw that that wasn't what brought happiness mm -hmm. because we wound up having great memories, not of the things that we bought, but of the times that we had as a family, Yep, the experiences that we had. And for me now as a mom, I'm like, it's not in the budget to take y'all out and like spend a hundred dollars every other day, just willy nilly. Right. Cause it's, it adds is, up when you have more kids. Yes. <laughs> Everything is compounded. But so that's what we try to do is, is do something that's an experience. Mm -hmm. So for I one of that. my kids, we got them a membership to the aquarium because Fun. they love turtles. And so we have a membership for a family for the aquarium. And now we get to go it. to the aquarium. That's and he gets fun. to see the turtles. <laughs> so, and, and making your kids feel special on their birthday doesn't have to cost money. Nope. I've heard of people like what we did for our, what we do for our kids is that after they go to bed at night, we hang streamers from their door yeah. and we blow up like 40 balloons and they're yep. on the floor in their room. I've heard of people that on their birthday, um, like the kids get to, like you said, choose a place to go. And then also they, they get to choose the music and the car the entire week. Oh, you know, like things like that. Yeah. They get to choose the car music yeah. for the entire week on the way to school and the way back from school. So making that feel special, I think yeah. comes from building the traditions. Um, and it doesn't have to be expensive. So yeah. I love this tip. Thank you. That's great. Absolutely. And the same one. thing with Christmas though. Mm -hmm. it, we try to do, they get one thing that they will wear like a shirt uh, or something. Yeah. Cause that's our splurge is we will buy something full price <laughs> clothing. It's usually like a sports team shirt or something. Yeah. Um, it's usually an Eagles Jersey, Allison, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> She's a Cowboys fan. She <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, so we, that's the only time that we splurge is like at Christmas, mm -hmm. they get one shirt, they get a toy, um, they get something that's learning. Um, like last year we, ha we splurged and got a Kindle for them. Mm -hmm. And so they share a Kindle because each one of them having a Kindle was just a recipe for somebody losing it. Yeah. Um, and then we get an experience. And mm -hmm. so we got a membership to a zoo last Fun. year as a family. That was our family. I love it. Keep it simple. That's Keep my big I love okay. it. Sorry. Sorry. 